where's the other side of the Olympia? See all the windows are like boarded up. It looks abandoned. But I guess they're just not using this side of the building at the moment. In fact, I think that's just a frontage. I think all behind that is hollow and they're putting a new building sort of onto the frontage. They do like a lot in London. That's and that's all part, part of it there as well. I don't think that means that the uh, classic car show is going to be any bigger next year when the building's done. <laughs> I don't know. Lights going on, haven't they? I think that's John Lennon's mini, that one in the middle there. And I, I, I'm just obsessed, I'm obsessed with this little tiny model with a car cover on it. <laughs> it's cute. They're selling for fifty pounds. Pretty sure you can get them off eBay for twelve pounds. <laughs> That's where I got mine from. <laughs> Definitely a lot cheaper than fifty pounds. This Mark II Jag, I walked past it. I thought it had been restored, but it's actually only got twenty-four thousand miles on the clock, and it's original. It's never been restored. And I mean, look at the badge. It's not faded or anything. The chrome's all beautiful. I really do. I think it's now, if you're going to restore one of these, this is what you want to look at to see how it should be. Yeah, 24,000 miles. Not as low mileage as the micro I had, but you know, probably in better condition. <laughs> The old uh, dealership sign in the back. Yeah, it's definitely been well looked after that one, isn't it? Oh, I'm having to walk upstairs and it's killing me. I'm not used to stairs. I live in a bungalow. <laughs> I made it. Yeah, nearly there. Just a few more steps. 
Oh, my knees. Ooh. Oh, there's pigeons up here as well. Oh. Well, I reckon we'll get a nice... Well, there they are, look. Pigeons. Um, <laughs> we get a nice little view up here from, from above. Pickup over there. I don't remember seeing that. Oh, no. I don't know what it is. Yeah. How do these cars get upstairs? lights on that as well. I wouldn't mind a set of those. <laughs> it's like it's is that an eight track in there? Or it's just a cassette player, I can't see. And again, we got the European 
European front lens is on, so we're all clear with orange bulbs, I would imagine. Nice original bonnet badge on this one. And we've got the Vitesse wheels. Rolls Royce, look at the uh, headlight wipers, they're little brushes. <laughs> Cute. Raimi's running around looking for a, there he spotted it, a little Morris. I think it's an 1100, the white one over there. He said, oh, I might have to bid on it, he said. <laughs> it's got no reserve on it, apparently. <laughs> it looks in very good condition, as do all the cars in here. What's that, Raimi? Oh, yeah. That's typical uh, clutch and brake fluid been leaking down there on the joint. Looks like somebody's been under here with the spray can as well. Still depends on the price tag, doesn't it? You know? The old tax disc in there, like 1991. I do also like the lucky pennies as well. Lucky like, pennies? Oh, it's stuck on the dash in the middle. Richard said you can open it if it's open, but that one doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> Look at those old tissues. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that anymore, are they? <laughs> like the orange Mercedes. That's got headlight wipers as well, look. Gordon. That's nice. Another nice Bentley. Beautiful. I can't even work out what that colour is. It looks like a really dark purple, brown maybe. The seats are like armchairs, look. That is a nice place to be in there. Really nice. Look, a BMW 8 series. Well, this one's an Alpina, or Alpina, however you want to pronounce it. So left hooker, automatic. Five litre. <laughs> Lots of nice cars here in the auction room, including that little Jeep that sold. Some really nice mercs here today, I must say. Oh, yeah, look at this lovely Land Rover. Way too clean. <laughs> well, look, they've sprayed that nut and bolt there, but they haven't sprayed this nut and bolt. And look, look at that damage. Ew. 
normally pick on cars, but ew, what's going on with that? That's nasty. <laughs> nice wood in the back, that's a good idea. Apart from they always leak and get wet. So you end up with wet wood. Well, this has been, I don't know, it looks like hammerite silver on there. It's probably powder coated, but kind of looks like hammerite. No, it's, uh, it does look like hammerite. I wonder how much that sell for. Look, being resprayed, but <laughs> it's all got sh it's all a bit shit. Look, it's all warped, cracked. They've <laughs> just literally chucked a coat of paint on this, have they not? I just <laughs> now you might think I'm mad, but I really like this Mitsubishi. I think it looks great fun. Can you imagine like dashing across Western Supermare Beach? <laughs> or some sandy dune? I just think I just think that's just fun. It just looks fun, doesn't it? <laughs> I got to see the amphicar up close. <laughs> Oh, something about it, the smell of it. Must be some waterproofing stuff they use on it. It's really strong. <laughs> this little jowet, it's tiny. I've not seen one like this before. Oh, that Jaguar is a C-type Jaguar, apparently. I'm not familiar with those. Nice Camaro, unusual colour scheme. Money's worth a car in this little room here. <laughs> Almost makes me feel uncomfortable. Scuba there. Look. I watched this Morris Minor sell. I think it was ten and a half grand. It sold for madness. It's got a very nice uh, coat of paint on it though, isn't it? Nice new roof, new period tyres, interior's good. Now as Morris Miners go, it's a really nice one. Of course, it's a split screen, so makes it more valuable. Ramy's over here, he's almost almost front row. He's watching he's watching the auction. You go sweetheart. I'm still I'm still looking for 145,000. I'm still looking for 150. <laughs> That would keep him quiet for a bit, wouldn't it? Can of cider and a chocolate muffin. Look <laughs> at the switches. Richard said that I could open it and have a good look around, so here I am. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can get in as well. I've never sat in an E-type before. I feel rude. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but I was told that I could, so why not? 
just looking for the little controls. Look, defrost interior. These I'm not sure. I think you pull them out. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. I can't afford it. Got the defrost and interior here as well. Interesting. I like the way the gear selector moves out to select the gears. Hmm. I do feel very naughty sat in here. <laughs> it's very comfortable. One thing I will say about this e is ah, that handle annoys me that you can't quite get your fingers in it nicely. I mean, I've got little fingers, so if you're a guy, it's very delicate to get your hand in there. Mm, Fiat X19, I, I saw one of these the other day in a customer's driveway. I thought it was like a TR7, but nope, it's a little Fiat. Is she open? No. Look how the spoiler's been cut out for the aerial. Why didn't they put the aerial there and they wouldn't have to cut that out? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Raymond's going to see if he fits in this little Lotus. It is 1958 I mean, your head's sticking out quite a bit. It's like you're in a pedal car. It's very cosy. My knees are actually on the bed. <laughs> I'll have to hang out. You'd have to have the roof down and the window open to be comfortable. <laughs> What about the pedals? <laughs> you pressing all three with one foot? Well, you sat. <laughs> I'm sat like that. Ah, oh, the blooming MG was like that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't break it, you'll have to buy it. <laughs> yeah, that one's a bit more your size, isn't it? A bit more room. But you're sat on the wrong side. <laughs> you look more comfortable in there. Starting at 50 now. spacious now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Your knees aren't on the dashboard. That's it, we're on our way back to the car now. We've left early. The show doesn't just finish till seven. I think it's about four o'clock now. Yeah, just gone. It, it is quite a small show, really. If we hadn't have got into the auction, then it just, was really small, wasn't it? Just over one hall. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, I shouldn't, auction. I shouldn't diss the show or anything, but it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Go to the NEC instead. Wait till November, that's a much better show. Or even the restoration show, which is coming up end of March. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're well, off back to the car now. Well, Jesse's still here. Is she in one piece? That's the question. I have no ticket. Got a moped behind me, I mustn't reverse. <laughs> I've got a twig. <laughs> I've got a twig. <laughs> I've got a twig. Jesse, Pocket what's all this bones. about? <laughs> Joys of parking under a tree. <laughs> yeah, she's good. Can't see any bird droppings either, which is nice. No, that's just old <laughs> rubbed off paint, yeah. Oh, that's good. We're going to say thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>